You look at the message she's sending to young girls. This is my problem with the young Miamis, the JTs, the the Sweeties, the Meg the Stallions. They're living off perception and they're trying to manipulate young girls. But That's they're not it. about that life. Their life isn't like that. I can't date someone who's unemployed personally. Yeah, if, you, exactly. if you're not employed, if unemployed. You're unemployed, unemployed, or you don't have like a side hustle that's making you bread. Oh, you, you don't have to. You know, guys, yeah. How are you 17, 18, 19 living off your mum still? Bro, no. Alright guys, you're looking at the thumbnail, you're looking at the title of the video, you already know what time it is, it is time to get active. Shout out to my Instagram, at Mayuka Tutorials and Reviews, it's long, but you know how to spell, if you don't, there's a link to it down in the description box down below. Be sure to go up there, follow your boy, and continue to send me fantastic content. The reason why I call that out is because this video was sent to me via Instagram. Now, before we get started... Do understand this is a particular trigger alert, but I think conversations like this need to happen. Listen to my words and listen to them closely. One of the major benefits of male focused media is that it is in direct opposition towards the pandering media that existed for decades before. It's clear to me, and going over content like I am about to right now in the myriad of different snippets of clips that i've gone over throughout my channel that the state of the knowledge and our information within our young youth seems to be disproportionately stupid depending upon the gender that you pick there's issues on both sides but it seems like today the modern young lady hasn't a clue or is not in the realm of decent reality regarding their expectations of the modern young man. And I think that it's ever more present as it is represented within our media today. Without further ado, hey, I'm not saying like they need to be able to rise four figures. No, like they just need to have. I feel like if I can't date someone who's unemployed personally, yeah, if, you, exactly. if you're not employed, yes. if you're unemployed, unemployed, yes. unemployed, or you don't have like a side hustle that's making you bread, you don't have to. How are you 17, 18, 19 living off your mum still? Let me pause it right here. Thank you. Cardi. Round of applause for Saweetie. Okay. Broke boys don't deserve no. I know that's right. Shout out, city girls. Congratulations. You guys have officially spread to London town. Even the young ladies down there are leading with the level of pure and utter delusion now this clip comes from chit chat central where they were interviewing 17 year olds regarding the requirements of financial stability what i found was kind of hilarious about this clip is that watch the facial expressions of the young boys and this is i'd argue the facial expressions of considering <laughs> seeing their way out or going their own way because of the expectations for them to perform at such a young age. Watch this. I'm not saying like they need to be able to rise four figures. No, like they just need to have, I'm look like, look if I can't date someone who's unemployed personally. Just stop. If you're, if you're not employed. Yes. Unemployed. Unemployed. unemployed or you don't have like a side hustle that's making you bread. You just stuck. Just, just completely confused. These poor young boys don't know what to say because they're looking at their modern equivalents and saying to themselves, what is wrong with this generation? The chickens have come home to roost of the decades of not allowing the media that permeates within the culture to be checked. The wokeness today of the modern independent lady and the information that they drip down to the up-and-comers 
this is your prime example, okay? Where they feel comfortable in establishing problem after problem after problem with the modern young man. This is what leads to the men ain't shit. They are not worthy of me. This is what establishes them not getting the good or the nice young man and instead go for the get rich or dying type dudes who will get them knocked up earlier on in their life and then they get to their mid 30s and beyond and then ask where did all the good men go meanwhile these young men hopefully understand that from the way that these modern young ladies are communicating to them or saying to themselves I got to back up out the situation and focus on me first and then leave these definitions of young ladies that ha are confused by the media cycle today by the wayside. Have fun with them, but don't take it seriously. Yes, this is not all, not all, not all, but this is a component of the culture today from the United States of America to across the pond. To expect a 17, 18, or 19-year-old, and specifically the 17 and the 18-year-olds, to be up out of the house when you can't even do that for yourself is completely absurd. But we have crafted a culture that is comfortable with putting a thumb on top of men in expressing what their expectations are. So they have these high levels of delusions of grandeur of what their expectations are should be in accords and alignments of those that they should be dating. And the problem with this is as well, that there's some of these young men that are looking at this media that are saying, damn, I need to get up on this level to afford these type of women. And then the pedatalization occurs, the simp behavior occurs. And if it ends up in, let's say, a marriage, more often than not, it's going to end up in a divorce. And thus, the cycle continues the ignorance is appalling here the disrespect is at an all-time high where's the parents listen i know i can place blame on media all day but really to me this is also a parental issue as well where are the parents where are the fathers because there's gonna be a lot of single mothers in that group of young ladies that we would like to admit listen i was listening to a um cast by DJ Academics not too long ago, which echoes my sentiments. Let's watch. You look at the message she's sending to young girls. This is my problem with the young Miamis, the JTs, the, the Sweeties, the Meg the Stallions. They're living off perception and they're trying to manipulate young girls. But That's they're not it. about that life. Their life isn't like that. Facts. So they try to just put on the show. If young Miami believed that everything she preached, if she was practicing what she preached, she would never get pregnant for Southside. But she did. If JT believed everything she she, she she been saying, she wouldn't be with Yachty and then now with Uzi. She wouldn't. But this is a definition of do what I say, not what I do. Mm. You were just pregnant. Also, you're a millionaire. I talk about this is the idea of appropriating the culture, appropriating sexual liberation appropriating feminism in order to sell more shit. I mean, that's really what it is. But in actuality, they push this be independent. They push this don't settle for this, that, and a third, right? That lacks complete reality of what's happening today. They push these things. But if you look in their personal life, they live a much different story. Let's keep going. You spoil him on his birthday. He tried to spoil you. But you're telling girls, don't spend, you shouldn't spend most of your money. Like, you spend a lot of your money. This is retarded, bro. If you're in a relationship and spending your own money and on majority of everything, you should be single. Most women these days, they're reading and they're accepting this narrative of this. Listen to it. If you're in a relationship spending your own money, and on majority of everything, you should be single. Now, I don't know if she's saying that if you're spending your money on a man or you're just spending your money on whatever you're normally spending money on. Because, like, the narrative that's happening, by the way, I want to give you all a stat. Women these days, 
college educated women are are college educated women are are earning close to what men make or even more there's a lot of there's more women who are graduating college at least by last stat that what I was checked up on than men a lot of women are doing better they're having better careers they're doing this of course they do have things where like you know if they're having a child they got to get out of the workforce and third but there's more that's graduating but they're not making more money than men okay you don't have to graduate from a four-year institution to make six figures. Shout out to all my blue-collar killers out there. All right, let's keep going. It's a lot of women who are doing better than men. But then you hear this type of shit being preached. I remember my, my girlfriend before that girl I called my day one, she was making $80,000. She was working this company. I don't want to name the company because I want to shout her out or, or embarrass her. And I was making barely even half of what she was making. But she was... I'm not going to say one of these type girls, but like she still expected the guy to pay for what guys paid for. But I was struggling. I was trying to make it. I was doing these odd things trying to get to the position I am now. And she would look at me like, well, I'm a woman. And I'm looking at her like, you make way more than me. Didn't care. Mm. This, shit, this, this whole shit is fucked up these days. Yeah, it's completely get backwards. It. I'm well off, so now maybe this all this applies to me. But I look at y'all who might not be in that, that position. Or y'all might be with a girl who, like, she's making more than you. And they're still hitting you with this. You, They want you to pay their bills even though you're struggling to pay yours. Mm -hmm. Just think about this shit. That made no sense. And really, this is all created, if you ask me, by Instagram. The The moment women looked on Instagram to say... This is when they, you know, when all these chicks say they're a prize, they're not a prize because they got dope personality. Mm. They know how to because they make a lot of money. Intrigue, That's why they seduce, think a talk to, entertain a guy outside of sexually. They're all saying it because a bunch of dudes just hit like on their pictures and call them cute, mm -hmm. and comment and say they're sexy, and basically say their BBL is great. That's why they're calling themselves a prize. It makes me look at them and say. That's what it takes. Again, you know, it creates an inflated sense of self. Um, it creates a ego based in delusion, right? Like, because what can happen is, is that they mistake all of the DM slides for reality in the dating marketplace where they could be ranked high in the sexual marketplace, but in the dating, in the serious dating marketplace, you ain't no prize. You ain't no prize. They're not sliding into your DMs based off of having respect for the words that come up out of your mouth. Don't get it twisted. Please don't get it twisted. Let's keep going. It's tough for fellas. It's tough. I I couldn't imagine being in college again. And women have some of the mentalities that they have these days. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Look at the mess. Yo, young Miami got pregnant for Southside, bought him vehicles, all type of shit. You look at the message she's sending to young girls. This is my problem with the young Miamis, the JTs, the, the Sweeties, the Meg the Stallions. They're living off perception and they're trying to manipulate young girls. That's mm -hmm. it. For the dollar. Their life isn't like that. So they try to just put on the show. If young Miami believed that everything she preached, if she was practicing what she preached, she would never get pregnant for Southside. But she did. If JT believed everything she she, she she been saying, she wouldn't be with Yachty and then now with Uzi. She wouldn't. But this is a definition of do what I say, not what I do. You were just pregnant. All right, guys, let me uh, end the clip off right here. Let me be clear um, as I exit this video. Currently in my life right now, I am not a proponent of 50-50. Now, when I was making 40-something thousand dollars per year when I just got out of college, I was way more of a proponent of 50-50. But my idea of 50-50 came with experience in life and understanding women and then it also came from a need perspective, right? Like I simply cannot afford to take you out to the spots that you would want to go to as often as you would want to go it. So let's try to figure this thing out as 
we're getting to know each other and build each other up. As I've gotten older and my financial foundation is a lot more strong, I am no longer a proponent of 50-50, okay? I'm still a proponent of vetting them before you decide to be a provider to a degree, but this idea of 50-50 into my 30s, it's not my wave, okay? But with that being said, to watch these young ladies talk about their counterparts as if they aren't shit unless they are completely supporting themselves first is absolutely absurd. I think it's a sign of a failure within the culture and it is for sure a sign of failure within the parents around them. Shout out to your favorite artist that continues to purport these lies outside of the actual reality that they live in. Guys, I'm gonna end this video here today, but I thought it was an appropriate video for me to conduct. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, feel free to hit me up. Last but not least, I got a booming Patreon. Guys, click on the link down below. Click on it, beam up, see all the awesome things that we have in store. The most valuable resource up there is access to my private community, access to my Discord server, where you'll get access, where we focus on financial education, finding your purpose, critical thinking, sort of like taking a lot more of these conversations, put them in private form, and then also ratcheting them up a notch in order to cement these learnings within your head. Click the link down below and I'll see you soon. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. Peace.